Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fate Sworn with me, nice Frank Don. Now we need to go speak to Mayor Flanagan. Be safe. Hello again. How has your journey been progressing? I didn't expect to see you back in revival so soon. Let's do this before we accuse her of slavery. I know about the kidnapping ring. The kidnapping ring? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. We've had a few settlers go missing these last few months, but I'm sure it's a case of people wandering off. Accidents. You don't honestly believe I would harm my own people, do you? I have proof. So you found one of the invitations, did you? Fine. I'll give you the truth. What did you expect? That I give up everything? Work tirelessly for days and nights? fixing the lives of these ungrateful idiots and get nothing for it. I am kind, but I am no fool. If these people can't watch their children closely enough, then they deserve what happens to them. But I am not fully to blame. There is another. I confess, for your citizens. What do you think will happen if I surrender the names of my associates? I'd be as good as dead. You may have proof of my crimes, but that doesn't mean I have to go quietly. I am full of surprises, my traveler friend. Did I ever tell you that I was once a Templar mage? Oh, the person that I've had to beat down. If you really must know, I was solicited by a noble woman in Crownhold, Philomena Goodchild. She is a high-born patron of some standing, but some of it comes from standing on the backs of others. I am but a link in a chain. Please do not hurt me. Killing me will not end the cycle. Please make yourself comfortable here in Revival. We have only one rule. Everyone takes care of each other. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we can't actually choose what to do with her. A little disappointing. Alright, so there's other quests. Okay. I thought there was a bed back this way. Be safe. Wait for sunset. I have no idea what time it currently is, so we're just gonna do a few hours at a time. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's right beside me. Do I just wait? Oh no, she's coming this way. So I assume I talk to her when she gets over here. Behave. No. Hello. Uh, hello. Sundown, the warehouse. Don't forget. Tonight's the night we get those scoundrels. Watch out for cultists. Just keep waiting. There's a cutscene. Sundown. The where? All right then. Here we go.
Hello. like shrapnel in the face. And what do you want? Do you really think I'll start gabbing as some stranger? You don't even live in revival. Go on, do your worst. Augur doesn't care about you. I oh, know, I know. You're right, he doesn't. He treats me like dirt. All he cares about is sucking up to Telogris. I'm nothing to him. This wasn't your fault. That's right. I was only following orders. And I was afraid for my life. Nobody crosses Augur. He's cruel and he's merciless. Alright, talker. <laughs> what is all this? And then talk or die. Okay, fine, please. You don't need to make threats. I'll talk, I'll talk. I'm never meant to hurt anyone. Augur wants to sow division and distrust, to convince his followers that it's time to leave for Telogris's city. But people are too afraid, too worried to leave revival behind for the unknown. They think they want freedom, but they're afraid of the price it'll cost them. Fires off. I find the prophet Augur. And then it's clobbering time. Hello there. Oh, they're, yeah, they're all hostile. <laughs> what was that, buddy? One more. Who are you? Hey, the timing on Augur's attack was impeccable. I just uh, activated Reckless Assault. <laughs> and he bounces off of my body. Be safe. Still sad that the spear isn't a usable weapon for us. There's technically one spear you can use, but it's considered a, hey. a great sword. You're everywhere. I'm not sure if I like it. Wherever you go, trouble seems to follow. I suspect you hear that a lot. Oh well. I spoke with Oathblade Kirby, and according to him, I owe you a debt of gratitude. And a bit of coin. Just try to restrain yourself from now on. I can't have too many rogue warriors running around this camp. Augur was bad enough. All right, another quest down. And now we head north. Are you stuck here too? No, I'm I'm out of here. Do not fear me, my people, for I have traveled through death and madness to be here. Here for you. I am Telogras, god of chaos and liberator of your mortal souls. The lives you have been living are lies. Lies like those my enemies have told about me for generations. It ends now. Together, we will remove the scales to reveal the truth. That fate is what binds you to your miseries. And that chaos is simply another word for freedom. Come, join me. We will build a new destiny together. I don't have to wear those stupid looking helmets to do it. <laughs> this helmet looks so dumb. Oh, it's you. Good day to you. Yours is a face I've not seen before. Listen, would you perhaps be willing to part with your teeth? Just a few, two or three. Uh, 
No. Galena Strout. I studied with the mages in Rafir, but they asked me to leave. Apparently, they were very uncomfortable with someone collecting their stool samples without their knowledge. The gnomes in Odessa wouldn't take me. Too tall. All I've ever wanted is to study the living form. To understand and grow. If it takes a few hundred innocent lives, so be it. Don't look at me like that. Uh, Mithros. I'm from Apatir originally. Can't say I like the snow much, or the heights. The cold preserves the bodies better though, so you can store a good number of them. If you happen to have the right spot. Like a secret cave, or a... um... Miskaru. Incredible creatures. Pure chaos magic. Can you believe that? The best thing about them is that they're thoughtless monsters. Bloodthirsty beasts with no true solar conscience. Nobody cares if you take them apart. Revival. It's as good a place as any. I can blend in, get lost in the sea of faces. Not as good as a big city, but good enough. You'd be surprised how few people like having an anatomist around. It's always, put that nose down, or is that blood? I like the mayor well enough, but I'm saying it now. Dibs on a skull. Why do you need teeth? Oh, it's not just teeth. No, I'll take most organs. Some appendages, blood or sputum, but it has to be in a container. Something portable. I'm an anatomist, a searcher, and one cannot pass through the portals of knowledge unless one has the proper doors open before her. That means I need bodies. Preferably dead ones. My latest paper deals in the anatomy of the Niskaru. A controversial topic, to be sure. Especially since I've never seen one. Listen, if you ever find yourself close to a Niskaru's mouth and you're not about to perish, collect its fangs for me. You know what they say. The teeth are the windows to the... to the mouth, I guess. Uh, sure. Why not? That's very reassuring. I've asked nearly everyone else in camp, and I've become quite the pariah. If only everyone had your penchant for corpse harvesting. Er, uh, science. Eh. Made its motto. Well, let's see what new dangers lie to the north. the path. <laughs> Take the left one. Seems like it kind of angles itself back southwards, so I'm assuming it's going to be a dead end. Or that it loops all the way around. <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's not like pairing the wolves, because they had a uh, First follow-up attack always misses them. Not the case for all enemies, but for wolves, it's I think it's guaranteed to miss. Stuck on the treasure. need to circle this way, do we? We'd see if there's treasure on the map. Take a quick peek, make sure there's not like a path that we just can't see. And we're, we're in the clear. Came out swinging. <laughs> hmm. 
Great thing for a bear to have. Didn't take them to be religious sorts. Crossing. First things first, we grab the lore stone, and then we have people to talk to up here. A lot of places to enter. Get over to this thing. Where does it hurt? The gun. How's this darn thing so elusive? <laughs> Through this village several times in the past, on the long journey from the Hessen River east through the foothills, but I have never seen it like this. The people carry the weight of the whole region's fear upon their shoulders. Bandits roam the forests and leave the corpses of their victims in the tall grass, where scavengers circle and cry. Gone are the days of the great Sativ Road, of fat bundles and merry gatherings. The only ones celebrating in Gale Crossing are the coffin makers. As before we committed to talking to people, like a lot of healers here too. Um, I'm gonna try and grab all these chests first. To have that done for the next episode, and try and save most talking for the next one. It's gonna be a, a full, full conversation episode, it seems. to navigate. No idea how I'm supposed to get up to the that chest. Oh, there's another layer. Oh, no, that doesn't explain how I get to this. Over here. Like, behind the house. Can't leave chests in open because it might have a piece of the glide set. Oh no, didn't mean to enter. I'm sure that's a quest location. Yeah, so we'll grab all the chests, we'll probably talk to a couple people, and then next episode we'll speak to the majority of the. What's back here? more chests in town. This one's outside of town, so we're not going to get that one yet. There's also this little area back here, which I guess we're going to take care of. This episode, try to keep the, uh, get the episodes a little organized like I had them previously.
that gives people the option if they don't want to watch like a conversation episode, they can skip it and get right back into the action. Welcome to Gale Cross. Oh, this game really makes me want to play Fable. I feel like there's a lot of uh, similarities in like the vibe between the two games. While Fable's a lot more, you know, comedic, of course. A lot more spoofy or parody. Like I guess the overall aesthetic is similar. Voice acting is similar. Um it's been a lot of uh, vi a lot of fable vibes from Kingdoms of Amalur. This might be needed for a quest, probably not, because there's a quest in the base game. For rat meat, I'm hoping that doesn't repeat itself. Also, this doesn't stop where I thought it did. And probably for a quest, check it out real fast. There's nothing back here, so I assume it populates once we start a quest. Or start the quest. Yeah, because it's weirdly unpopulated. Layout for a dungeon. Well, we can go talk to like one or two people. At least get started. Always better to talk, get the quest you need so you don't have to backtrack and go through dungeons a second time. Like we're gonna have to do with this one. Let's see, what house is in front of us? Sinclair House. Pretty sure that's the name of an NPC in the base game as well. Beware the night Barkes. It's just a villager. Okay. Don't linger here. Ew, how about that? I don't think I'm mad at you for lockpicking. It's just the actual stealing. I'll just take a peek inside. Nothing I really care for, so we we'll just leave. The night ball cast. We get the experience for it, which is all I care about. And most loot is redundant or just unnecessary at this point. Alright, can't get into the warehouse.
Taggart House. Trap door, executioner's den. Get to the Garver House. Did I was I missing the chassis? I'm missing the gloves, I think. Let me check. Ooh, the 40% physical damage is nice. Health regen. Yeah, we'll add that to junk. Yeah, we need gloves. Make sure I didn't pick any up. I mean, I have these. They're not as good as what I currently have equipped. But it's the Goliath set that I have equipped, so maybe, yeah. Like that. Let's see. We'll rock this for a bit. If we find the rest of the uh, Goliath set. Just to mix it up. This is not often I use the uh, the generic set pieces anymore. I've outgrown them. Oh, there's a trap door. It's for the warehouse, so we probably can't enter it. Uh, the warehouse itself was locked and needed a key. house. I suppose the houses are not populated, so we'll probably explore all the named houses like this. Uh, avoid like things like the tavern, or the crossroads inn, warehouse a door. Uh, let's see. Find crystals, it's probably a shop. Ivan Hughes. Actually, it's probably all of them, isn't it? Yeah. All right, let's see if there's any named... There's a few right there. Oh, those are the people we've already spoken to. They're from the, uh... West Road. All right, let's go to the end. Hello, oh, it's stranger. not nearly as busy as I was expecting it to be. They saw me. Um, I'm sorry. I heard that makes them automatically go hostile. We'll have to leave. Come back. Okay, that gives us a. Uh, 
we're gonna do for the rest of the episode. We're gonna go back to uh, Canterock. Then we have to rest for three days, and then come back. Didn't think they're gonna see me. It was eight percent chance for. I oh yeah, they're all hostile. Time to go. I need to drop off some of the unique items we found anyway. They're clogging up my inventory. So do that, we'll teleport back to uh What's it called? I'm gonna keep all the armor pieces like that. Uh Gorgor can stay. Uh, we're not gonna use Aegon set anymore. We just want the Goliath set. This episode feels a little uneventful um, because I was holding off and trying to talk to people in the new town. But we knocked out, what, two side quests, accepted a third one, and made it to a new town, explored it, looted all the chests. So progress was made. It's in one of those like weird in between episodes. I try to avoid them when I can, but. I'd rather commit the entire episode to speaking to everybody in the town because it's going to take so long. It'd be weird to do like two quests and speak to like half the town because then it's going to be like an hour and a half long episode anyway. So, do what you can. Yeah, we'll probably do a start with like the indoor areas because I don't think any quest givers, at least not this one. And uh, we'll go around and speak to everybody that we can next episode and collect all these quests. Do some quests. What's over here? Oh, alright. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.